Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and we are going to say that this is for the next seven days. But most of you know that the timing is fluid, right? Let's see, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we got for Virgo? Here it is. Stack. Karma. Ooh, you will reap what you have sown. And now karma works in two ways. It's kind of like that justice card. There's a winner and there's a loser, right? There's a good and a bad. There's consequences, right? So you will reap what you have sown, whether it is good or it is bad. Depends on your actions, you know, your previous actions. So there's obviously, this is like for the next seven days, like I said, so something may be happening in the next seven days, may have something to do with some sort of karmic contract. I did happen to mention justice, which is a contract, okay? Um, there could be a decision that is being made. Maybe you're making the decision, the law is making the decision, the universe is making the decision, but whatever is happening, it appears that there is some sort of realignment here or somebody is getting paid back, you know, or something like that. Okay. Well, okay. Oh. Deck is upside down. We're not going to do that. Or we probably should have. Well, if we're going to do it that way, they came out reversed, all three of them, because the deck was upside down. This could be money that is coming to you. It says emotional outburst ahead. Look deeper, something is hidden. I feel like something is going to be revealed. Somebody has had an emotional outburst that reveals something. And there's some sort of money that is coming to you. That's in the reverse, right? Something is revealed because somebody has looked deeper. There was an emotional outburst or maybe that's what's happening now. This is like... It, if it was upright, there'd be money going down the drain. This may be money that is coming back to you. Now, it could go either way. It's interesting that I said things can go either way with this karma. There could be something that is hidden. There could be a loss of money. Could go either way. It could go either way. Isn't that funny? We're going to hope and pray that this is the case. But like I said, it could go either way. Maybe there's been some sort of emotions all over the place. Maybe there's some sort of stability coming back around. Maybe you've been emotional about your money. Now, like I said, karma works in both ways. You're going to reap what you have sown. But if you've been, you know, cheating, lying, unfaithful, whatever, you know, then there's consequences. Either way, there's consequences, however you look at it. For every action, there is a reaction may come later, but it always comes. Anyhow, what do we got for Virgo? Truth. Some sort of truth being revealed. Something is being seen very clearly. Put it that way. Ugh. Page of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. On the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. So all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. There's some sort of hidden forces here. There is deception. There is some sort of deception. There's some sort of darkness. Anyhow, page of coins reversed is not interested. It's, it's dropping out of a situation. Um, closing a door. Somebody may be closing a door. They're, or they're, they're, not, they're letting go of something that they don't want anymore. 
It's not solid. It's not practical. It's not stable. I mean, the page of pentacles reverse is somebody that is not interested in putting in the effort. They're not interested in the work. They're not interested in the, in the profit. They're just not interested. They don't care. This is somebody that is lazy, right? It is. This is closing some sort of door. Somebody is closing a door. They don't, they're not going to invest in it anymore. They're not going to take it. They don't want it. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it anymore. So maybe that's the case. I'm not taking it anymore. I feel like there's been emotions all over the place. I feel like there's somebody here that, and this is interesting because this is look deeper. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. This is the opposite. Something is being revealed that was hidden. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Cancer. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's been some sort of uh, emotions all over the place. There is some sort of deception. But truth is being revealed. So I know that that is the case. Something that was below the surface is being revealed. There's some sort of instability here. Could be even mental instability. Very interesting. Let's get one of these. I feel like we have somebody here that's lost sight of their goals. And maybe it's because of some sort of addiction or illusion. And I say that because of the moon. Or some sort of deception. They weren't seeing something clearly, but I feel like they are now. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, there's some clarity here. Which is causing somebody to drop out of something. Nope. Don't want it. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is something that is happening. This is a positive change. It's good luck. It's destiny. It's karma. It's the Wheel of Fate spinning somebody in a new direction, right? This is exciting. Take a look at that guy's face. He's, he's, he's happy. He's excited. He's going in a new direction. And he's being cheered on. Go, 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 right? Obviously, we have something that is happening that is positive. This is positive change. Gonna make sure that thing isn't gonna start a fire. Anyhow, the wheel of fortune. So we have somebody here that is there's a cycle that is coming to an end. Okay, this is a new chapter begins, the end of one chapter. This is a change of course, right? We have somebody here that is is their their course is changing. Their ch the, the, a chapter of their life is over. It's over. They're, they're done. They're done investing in something that isn't practical, where there's been deception, where there's been lies, okay? This is a positive change. It's being at the right place at the right time. This is the storm is over. I just focused on that rainbow. It's a time of, of transformation. Uh, this is extremely exciting. It just this looks very exciting to me. An exciting new chapter begins. This is going for it. This is this is like, and for some of you, some of you may be dealing with a mechanic or somebody that works on vehicles. Doesn't have to be. Um, whatever is happening, we have a positive change here. The end of a cycle, going in a new direction. That's very fortunate. So lucky, lucky. Closing a door, going going with the flow. The Wheel of Fortune is allowing things to happen. Destiny. So that's destiny. It's karma as well. So we definitely have karma here. There's something that is happening that is karmic. You're going to be seeing an increase, I believe, because this is fortune. By, by shutting some sort of door or dropping out of a situation by being practical and seeing things clearly, something that is being revealed moves you in a more positive direction. You are going in a positive direction. This is a happening, something that is happening. 
What do we have for Virgo? Eight of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, unplanned loss. It's a lost investment. It's a no answer. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been restricted. They've been restricting themselves. They've been in some sort of situation where they've been letting fear or mental turmoil or inner conflict hold them back. Or they've been restricted for another reason. Now we have somebody here that is breaking free from the restrictions. They're letting go of something that they had that isn't no longer solid. It's not practical. It's not stable. It's insecure. Breaking free. So we definitely have freedom here. Letting something go doesn't want it. This is definitely no. It's a no answer. No. No, I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to be in this position anymore. I don't want to be trapped. I don't want to be held back. I feel like there's some sort of situation that causes somebody to break free from whatever it is. Some sort of fear or restriction. Five of Cups reversed. Now the Five of Cups reversed is beginning to realize that there is a better option. Somebody's been thinking a lot. They've been thinking a lot about their value. They've been thinking a lot about their worth. They've been thinking a lot about stability and security. And they've been grieving, you know, grieving and sad. And that there's your emotional outburst right there, but holding it in. And you can only hold it in for so long. See, they, that's the restriction. Somebody's been re holding back their feelings, holding on to some sort of, situation or thing that isn't even practical or real or stable but beginning to realize beginning to realize and they, there, there could even be some sort of emotion there could be an emotional outburst ahead because you can only hold down those feelings and block those feelings and confine them within for so long and that's the hidden feelings. So yeah, I feel like somebody's been hiding their feelings or they've been pushing it down, pushing it down. Now I feel like there's there's an insecurity here or unstableness. It's unstable emotions. And I feel like that's why we have an emotional outburst that breaks somebody free. So there is an obstacle that is being removed. This is beginning to realize that there is a better option. Somebody has been focusing on a loss. They've been focusing on something that, you know has been restricting them but I feel like there's a release I do feel and I feel like it's a big one I feel like it's a big release two of wands reversed the hair of font reversed now two of wands reversed the spur of the moment decision I feel like there could also be a sudden departure or a sudden return this is uh the two of wands reversed if somebody's been playing it safe They've been playing it safe, indecisive about letting go of something that really isn't. It's like it's not bringing any type of stability to their life. They're not really interested in it. They're not really committed to it. This is no commitment. No commitment. Not committed. But playing it safe, staying, staying put, indecisive. There's a lack of faith here. We may have somebody here that doesn't listen to their gut. I'm gonna let that. I think that happens a lot during your readings, doesn't it? I think we have a broken relationship here with the hero font reversed. You know, that can be a divorce or something like that. No faith. Poor advice as well. Somebody may have received some poor advice. Anyhow, five of pentacles reversed. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change. It is a positive change. I know we have a lot of reversals here because that has to happen so that you can re you can see the truth. Not be in delusionment. Not be in illusionment. Okay, that's the moon. The moon is illusionment. What you see is not what you get. When you, when peep, and I'm just, I'm just saying, when you do only the uprights, you're only getting the positive. You have to feel the negative. You have to see the negative. That's what you need to work on. Okay? That's what needs to change. Living in fantasy, living in illusion doesn't change nothing. 
It only gets worse and worse and darker and darker and darker. If you can't face the truth, if you can't face the reality, if you can't face being practical, if you can't face it, then things are going to get worse. Living in illusion is not going to bring you anything but more illusion. Now, these fives are better in reversed. Just so you know. This is a turning point. This is beginning to realize that there's another option after grieving over a loss, after some prolonged grief. Somebody may have been begging for somebody to help them, maybe even praying, but not being practical. We do have a turning point here. We may have a spur of the moment decision, all right, with that two of wands reversed. If somebody here that's been held back by fear and anxiety, big time, big time. They may feel guilty. They may feel guilty for leaving somebody that helped them. Anyhow, there could be a total loss here, just being honest. Ace of Pentacles reverse, Five of Pentacles reverse. That can be a total ruin. It can be a major loss. It, it can be. Like I said, this can go either way. Somebody may be experiencing a major loss because they aren't being practical. They aren't being realistic. They aren't solid. They are unwilling to refocus. The page of Pentacles is a need to refocus. It is, especially in the in the reverse. It's somebody that's lost sight of their goals. They need to refocus. They need to set new goals. And I feel like we have somebody here that has been so confined, held back, and focused on a loss that they're that they're. hindering their own ability to achieve success because when you get reversals is an absence of success anyhow the hero font is a need to believe it's a need in reversed there's a need to have faith you need to listen to your own gut <coughs> We also have somebody here that is stuck in a situation, and it may could just be a mind game within yourself, you know, because they don't, maybe it's because of social pressure. There could be even an abuse of a father figure here. It could be somebody that is abusing their authority. They're abusing their power. So, <clears throat> five, 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 expect the unexpected. Now, fives are power struggles, personal freedom, conflict, and your life is about to change. But there's resistance. These are all reversed. Right? They're all reversed. But it is resisting change because that fives are about change. Your life is about to change, okay? Five, 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 expect the unexpected. You got major life changes ahead. I feel like you're resisting it. Absolutely. Um, struggling to believe, struggling to have faith. But an obstacle is being removed, and I think it is fear, because we definitely have fear and regrets and guilt and maybe even some, some self-doubts. You may have some self-doubts, um, but whatever is happening is positive. So we do have a positive change here.
Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is an exciting new beginning. This is something coming to fruition. A seed that has been planted is now coming to fruition. This is just go for it. It's action time. This is a turning point. It's action time. This is a new vision. It's a new drive. It's, it's a sudden desire for something new. But you have to believe and you have to have faith and you have to just go. Just go for it. Something is happening where you're going to need to just go for it. You're going to, this is like blind faith, seriously. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Something is going to be revealed. This is a new spark. This is definitely something that is very sudden. I think there's one door that is closing and another door that is open. Now, the ten of the opening, the ten of, or the uh, Wheel of Fortune is a chapter that is coming to an end. And when one chapter ends, a new chapter begins. So a cycle, same, cycle ending, cycle beginning. You may be in disbelief. You may have to take a non-traditional approach, you know, an unconventional approach and just run with it. Just go for it. Something is happening that is very exciting. Now, for some of you, there could be a sudden return or somebody could be, you know, I mean, that two of wands reverse can be you know, playing it safe, but suddenly leaving or sudden or a sudden return. There's been some sort of indecision. Maybe a decision is being made. Maybe that's what that is. A decision to just go somewhere, a decision to do something spontaneous. There is something spontaneous. I do think there's a new vision here. You need to believe you need to have faith. Something is happening that is very exciting. But you have to let go of your fears because this is faith, a need to have faith, and this is fear. Okay, you need to, you need to remove that obstacle of fear. Or you may be also dealing with somebody that was trapped in some sort of commitment or they were trapped in a situation that, you know, they were struggling to break free from out of guilt or something like that. Somebody is definitely looking deeper at a situation and there is going to be a release. There could even be some unexpected help that is arriving. Somebody may be accepting help. Maybe they were too proud to accept it in the past. There could be some help here. Could be very sudden. <clears throat> Three of Cups, Reverse, Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So, this is parting ways. Dashed expectations. No longer interested. Somebody may be no longer interested in investing in somebody where there's too many people involved. Somebody's been ignoring an opportunity. They've been missing an opportunity. Maybe with somebody that they have a deep connection with. Now, the Four of Cups is discontent, so somebody is ignoring something, right? They're ignoring an opportunity, missing an opportunity. But underneath that is the Ace of Wands. That's, a, that's an exciting new beginning. So we do have somebody here that is contemplating. They're not happy right now. Really, 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 really not happy with the Three of Cups reversed and the Four of Cups reversed. Now, the Six of Cups is reminiscing, right? It's nostalgia. It's, it's memories of love. So we do have somebody here that is ignoring something. They're ignoring their feelings. There could be a reunion here in the future. Or somebody is headed right towards somebody that they, a soulmate. Okay, this could be a soulmate. The Six of Cups could be a soulmate. But there's some sort of, Maybe somebody's not looking for it because this is a happening. It just comes out of nowhere. 
This is not looking for it, not focused on it. We may have somebody here that is running into some, some it could be even somebody from the past or it's just somebody that they are very familiar with. This may be like a past life connection, you know? Somebody, may, maybe somebody's been ignoring their feelings about the connection. I don't know. There's definitely an ignoring it or not looking for it, but this has a sudden, it's all of a sudden. It's a sudden spark, a sudden desire, a sudden desire maybe for love because the Six of Cups is re reawakened memories of love. It's feelings of love, right? Somebody may be parting ways to have love. They've been ignoring it. They've been ignoring their feelings. I really feel like there's somebody here that's been ignoring their feelings or they've been not looking for love and it just shows up or something like that. Or somebody is going in a new direction. They're parting ways. They may be, they may be reconnecting with somebody from their past. Now, that's not going to be for everybody. But that wheel of fortune is the end of a cycle. It's a very, it's an, it's a, it's a fortunate turn of events. It's fate. It's karma. It's destiny. There's a seed that was planted some time ago that is coming to fruition now. We have, may have somebody here that is no longer interested in being in a third party situation, you know, and they've made a decision. Two of Wands reverse can be a decision is made. This is a turning point. Something is happening where a decision is being made. Somebody is breaking free from their fears. They are going somewhere. I feel like they're going somewhere. I feel like they're going fast for some reason. This is, this is, the Ace of Wands is like a new story begins. It's extremely exciting. And when, it, when you get a lot of reversals, it also means extremes. Somebody is headed right towards... I want to say a connection that is going to bring them harmony, that is going to bring them balance. And I feel like they don't even see it coming because they've been so focused on a loss and restricting themselves. But now we have an opening up. I feel like we have an opening up, letting go of what is not secure, letting go of something that has not brought them stability or has abandoned them or ghosted them or neglected them. Accepting the change, going for it. This is just going for it. Somebody's going to, this is exciting. It definitely is exciting. We do have an opening up. Four of Pentacles reverse that is opening up. It's relaxing. It's letting go of the securities, you know, and allowing things to happen. It is. Somebody's also been obsessed. They've been obsessed with holding on to something that felt secure, but it really wasn't. And that may just be a self-protective tactic. There could also be a financial loss here. It's either a financial gain or a financial loss. Like I said, it could go either way. Somebody needs to make a decision. I do feel like a decision is going to be made. I do feel like it's a spur of the moment decision. There's something to do with the past here because that six of cups is memories. It's the past. So there's something to do with the past. So I feel like we have somebody here. This is the, maybe it's the end of a third party situation that you've been ignoring or they've been ignoring. You know, this, this is ignoring. This is a third party. Could be the end of a friendship as well. The Three of Cups is parting ways from friends or family. I feel like there's some gossip here as well. I feel like there's people that are involved that are talking. These, you know, maybe you need to let go of that. 
This is letting go. Letting go of something that felt secure, but really wasn't. Opening up. It's time to relax. It is time to relax. I feel like we have somebody here that is running towards, you know, they're running towards, I want to say a soulmate that that's what it looks like to me. I mean, and I don't like to pretty things up. I really don't. We also have karma here. We have karma. I feel like there, there is somebody here that, uh, I don't know if this person has cheated. The Three of Cups reverse can be cheating, you know, and we have somebody here that has been ignoring it, clinging to the memories of the past, and they just decide to close that door. Somebody may be also going back to somebody in their past, and I just, I gotta be honest about that, if that's the case. But there is some something that is happening, okay, that you don't see coming, but it's all about to show up. Good luck.